Girls and guys, it's Chris Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and I got another SharePoint tutorial for you here today. Pretty simple. Um, other people have done it on YouTube, but I'll do it my way. I'll do it my way. We're gonna do uh, calendar overlays today. So I have another video that I did. Uh, I think earlier this summer, uh, how to do uh, SharePoint calendars. So this time out, we'll do the overlays for the SharePoint calendars. So we're going to make some calendars, baby. So let's go to new. And you can do this on um, a group site. You can do this on a communication site. It doesn't make a difference. So now that I said that, I'll get back to where I was. So just go to your contents on your site. And I don't know, by default, you already have a calendar there. So I'm not going to, I'm going to disregard that one and make a whole bunch of new ones. So we're going to create an app. So just put new app. And then if you have um, the new modern sites, you're going to see that it just comes up with the modern uh, interface. But uh, what we want to do is go to classic experience. And then you should... Um, you should on one of these apps here see your calendar so we'll create a couple calendars so we'll go main calendar for this one and we'll create that and there's your main calendar there and then we'll go back to apps we'll go back to classic experience um let's call this comic comic book yeah, convention, because I'm a nerd. So I'll put something nerdy in there. You might have meetings. You might have different off, uh, office rooms in your building uh, that you need to schedule different meetings for. Something more adult than what I would put in there. <laughs> so, uh, but, not, you know, I'm a 12-year-old in a 52-year-old body. Um, so we'll go here. We'll go calendars. Yeah, we'll put Star Trek conventions. All right, we'll create. All right, and then, uh, yeah, there we go. So we got our main calendar. We got a couple conventions. So I'm just going to, uh, oh, I didn't want to delete. just want to open this. Okay, so as you see, we're at our main calendar and we wanna go over to calendar. And you can see right here, there's um, calendar overlays. So let's hit that and we're gonna put a new calendar in as an overlay. Okay, so you're hitting that. And then we'll put, um, this is our first overlay. You can put a description if you want. You don't have to. Here's a bunch of default colors you can put in there. So this, um, because it is my sandbox site, I'm going to resolve here. If it's on a different site, just get the URL for that site. And then once you do resolve, it has to be under your collection. So what I'm saying under your collection it has to be under. Um, so in this case, my media helper, INC. So it has to be under... Um, the license that you have for the name of the convention that you have. All right, so as you see, I've got, um, it's it searched for the lists that are in under my sandbox because that's where I asked for it to search. So we'll just put comic book conventions and then there's only one view and I'm gonna put always show. Okay, I'm gonna put okay. All right, and then I'll add the other one which is Star Trek Conventions. So we'll put Star Trek Conventions. And then again, I'll find a pretty color for it. And again, it's gonna be on the same site. So I'm just gonna resolve it. Put in Star Trek Conventions. By default, that's gonna be calendar list view because that's the only view I have. And I'm gonna put always show. All right, and then we'll put okay. All right, so I've got my two overlays here, and I'm pretty sure if I go here, the calendar will pop up. Oh, no. Okay. I want the calendar to pop up. All right, so you know what happens if you go like this. You just go in. You can you can change settings. Um, from here, I'll just go back to the site contents. And I just want to go into this one, and I just want to do an event. So let's just say, say there's going to be a comic book. 
book from convention coming up on the 27th. We're going to add an event. You should already know how to do that if you watched my other tutorial. And we're going to say um, San Diego Comic Comic Con, which has already passed. It was in last month, the end of last month. Um, we'll put San Diego. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to be a weekend event. So let's just say yeah, the, the convention opens at 9 a.m. and then it ends on Sunday. Um, I don't know, at 5 p.m. Okay, and then category. Uh, you do specify your own value. Yeah, I'll just put get together. Uh, make this all day activity that doesn't start or end. All right, so if I hit that in, these, these times don't mean anything. Um, you can repeat this event, which it's all going to be a one-time event. So I'm just going to save on that. That should come up. All right. So if we go to, uh, let's go back to contents. And let's go to main calendar. Okay, and there's the San Diego Comic Con right there. I might put Comic Con, I might put con instead of conventions just so it's one line, but that's okay. And then um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll just leave that like that. I'll go, where the hell am I going? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, now I'll go to Star Trek conventions. All right, well, let's say there's one on the 20th. And let's say it's uh, Las Vegas. And uh, we'll, it will start at, I don't know, what do you think? At 11 a.m. And then it will go into Sunday. Oops, not the 28th, though. 21st, uh, let's say it ends at 6 p.m. Category, again, I just put get together or put your own category. Uh, again, you can make this an all day event. You can repeat the event, but I'm not gonna do either of those. So I'm gonna save. All right. So now we'll go back to our main calendar and we'll refresh and there we go. We got our overlays. So, oh, I didn't put the, where it was going. Uh, should be able to edit event, edit item. And then I can put Las Vegas. You happen to forget. In calendar. There we go. We got Las Vegas. All right. Then you can go into your individual calendars. And then it will show you, um, and just hit your back button, Star Trek conventions. And it'll give you your individual um, calendar to see uh, for those specific days. And then you can edit the links on the side. You can put like calendars for your links. Just check out my links uh, tutorial on that and uh, add them to the side for easy access. It'd be kind of like going like this, like under your recent. All right. So, gals and guys, that is how you do calendar overlays. And there's other stuff here for calendars that uh, are pretty cool that uh, I'll make another video on. Just kind of the, the nuts and bolts of what else you can do with calendars. And that is it for this tutorial, gals and guys. I appreciate you, as always. If you could uh, share this, I would appreciate it. Most importantly, please uh, register or... Um, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. That's what I'm trying to say. Subscribe. Um, like if you like this video. Like if you don't like this video. Hit the bell for updates. It's so much to say at the end. It's so early in the morning. And uh, I appreciate you as always. And I'll catch you later. Live long and prosper.